Uh, and our last speaker before the, uh, uh, before the panel discussion, Mr. Alexander Armaris, the CEO, founder, CEO of DigiFood, who will tell us about incorporating the omni-channel experience. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Alexandre Armange. I'm co-founder of DigiFood. Uh, basically, from my accent, you know that I'm French. Um, I'm going to present you about how to incorporate an omnichannel channel experience in your establishment, and especially how we do it at DigiFood. So uh, what is DigiFood? So DigiFood is a modern point of sale entre um, uh, enterprises businesses, much like more uh, stadiums, entertainment properties, commercial churches, etc. So um, um, I must say that I'm really glad to be here today because it's one of our of my first presentation in English, especially <laughs> abroad, and uh, I'm glad to participate participating to this panel today, and and glad about what is being said about omnichannel and, and a lot of subjects that have been assisted to. So just to to start with the first slide. Um, okay, so does it work? Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is a, a screenshot that I have taken from. Uh, the World Cup in 1998. As you know, France just won his second World Cup title uh, last summer, but the first one was 20 years ago. This, this was the HD quality 20 years ago, by the way, and what surprised me into the, this, this picture, you know, is like this, this guy in the stand, just leaving the stand before our time, and from his shirt color, we know that he's, we could be Brazilian. So this guy has met 12,000 kilometers and is leaving the stand just before the end of the first half. It explains something. The question is simple. This is the guy who is presenting uh, who wants to be a millionaire in France. Uh, so it's really easy. He doesn't want to stand in lines during the half time. And so we um, realized that 20 years after that, it was during the year 2016, the situation is quite the same in two-year stadium. So we came up with the phrase experience economy um, to name the trend in which buyers increasingly you know, choose experience services over basic purchases. And when guests are glad and fulfilled, it usually means that they will come back uh, for more. So you may not know this, but maybe in, in European stadium today, the most modern piece of technology is the point of sale. Uh, think about it. It is responsible for transacting yours and mine cash and credit card transactions on the front end and on the back end it's, it is responsible for creating reports powerful enough for managers to run their entire business on. Mm -hmm. So with 250 billion euros going through point of sale solution this year in concession style industries, the question is this, why? Why are you and I still waiting in long lines in this cafe of venues? Why operators are still running their business on predominantly manual processes? In trying to be everywhere, many venues, many brands, retailers have ended up being nowhere. And we need to ask them the right question. So the right technology on the front end and the right technology on the back end. So the problem that I realized was that they just invest into e-commerce and digital marketing with insufficient focus and prioritization. And we need to encourage uh, shopper loyalty through payment experience by eliminating the friction in the consumer journey. The answer also is that enterprises businesses still only consider legacy providers uh, to be options for them. That is because they have been around for almost forever. And now they have sincerely lacked innovation on omnichannel. And on the other side of the industry, <coughs> you have mobile point of sale providers like Square, who have been built from the ground up for coffee shops and restaurants, certainly not the scale we are talking about today. But as you know, Square gets perfectly how people are consuming, how Gen, Gen Z uh, consumer demand more personalized and highly relevant experiences as consumers. So, um, DigiFood is creating for three years and a half now a new category on point of sales. 
one that combines the, the best of, of both worlds. We are faster, easier to use, and, and more mobile. Always on Trapezius level analytics uh, and inventory control on the back end. So clearly, this is how customers are engaging in more channels uh, on their shopping journeys. And retailers, venues, brands ask to respond accordingly. Well, this means for you and I, finally, less waiting in lines. And Operators on the other side can truly run uh, inventory correctly, so our, our favorite uh, menu items are available for us at, this, at the concession stands or at the shops. And those venue owners can make more revenue, which also means that we'll be around for, uh, for years to come. So not only uh, has DigiFood proven, uh, but we also displaced legacy providers at over 105 entertainment properties today. Sites like Commerce Bank Arena here in, Frank in, in Frankfurt, here in Germany. Stade de France, 80,000 capacity stadium. Uh, Matmut Atlantic in Bordeaux, which is 40,000 capacity stadium. Alliance Rivera and Nice, 60,000 capacity stadiums. These are uh, clients of ours. And we have also been able to retain uh, two master service agreements with um, some of the biggest food service providers in the world. It's yeah, cool progress for a company that has just been around for less than four years. And um, a big part of that success uh, is due to our breadth of product. We have been able to partner with uh, some of the greatest hardware providers in the world, so we could have remained 100% focused sorry, on creating awesome point-of-sale software. So our products include our fixed point-of-sale, designed for permanent installations in consistent stands, bars, merchandise, etc. Our NL part of sales is designed for on-the-go transactions from parking lots, portable bars, waiters, uh, hawkers, etc. Our kiosk uh, has been designed for self-service and, and line busting, uh, allowing fans to order uh, on their own time. Customers can subscribe and collect the products in, in less than five minutes, and, and the card information is also used to, to create uh, a wallet online, w w which the customer can use for additional purchase uh, on the, the merchant side, website. <coughs> or mobile app and, 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 and white label SDK uh, allow fans into the stadiums to order what they are craving for and being delivered to their seats uh, while the event is on. And Finally, um, DigiFood Pro, uh, you know, finally brings all together in the in in the powerful backend website where managers can view on their smartphones, tablet, and computers. Such a powerful website that um, managers can get you know low-level alerts when um, Currywurst is uh, running out in concessions 1027. Uh, always interprets level analytics uh, and inventory controls on the backend. So this is something that we have done um, last year in May 2018, and, I've, and I think it's kind of relevant. Uh, we have deployed 1,000 point-of-sale units across nine venues, and, and we did this uh, in less than, than a month, actually, by far um, the fastest and largest point-of-sale deployment in entertainment this year. And we did so with uh, one of uh, the powerful catering companies in France called the Group Casino. Uh, it means that even if Casino has this strategy, you know, they, they, they choose to do this like progressively, product by product. And at Stade de France, um, one of the world maybe maybe stadium in, 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 in the world, uh, we are proving our, our dedication to innovation. Um, we are going in a second year of allowing 60,000 fans uh, to order on their smartphone for delivery and pickup. It means that thanks to the marketing and, and, and the communication that Stade de France has made, um, structurally, they are generating one euro per uh, fan into the stadium more thanks to this channel. During Euro 2016, we have implemented two solutions, the mobile app and the point of sale. And we had over a thousand volunteers using our system without any prior training. Uh, and those volunteers transacted millions uh, of euros in a big open field uh, in stadium without any network connectivity av um, available to them, 
showing that Digifood is really easy to use. And now, as a company, we, we had a very simple goal uh, going to uh, 2018, and, and that was to grow. So we have enjoyed uh, incredible growth this year. Um, we'll do five times revenue. We also do five, uh, yeah, sorry, six times overall, uh, overall processing euros compared to last year. And we have uh, been able to grow our team by two, uh, bringing some uh, the best from the, the point of sale world in our team uh, and advisor. And compared to last year, we have deployed 100 times uh, point more point of sale units as compared to last year. Uh, one of our final goals um, going into this year was <coughs> to expand our, our, our product um, just beyond the entertainment. Uh, and I'm proud to say that we um, have done just that, actually. We are now considering convention centers, higher campuses, business dining campuses, festivals, airports, station, uh, train stations, and we are going to um, launch our first, uh, first food chain restaurant uh, with 200 sites in June. Myself, along with my three co-founders uh, and our 26 employees, uh, we are remaining excited about innovating the enterprise's point of sale space. And if you like to learn more about Digifood, you get out your smartphone and, and you can go to digifood.de. Uh, it's available in, in five languages already. Uh, or come visit me afterward. I'll, I'll be pleased to answer your questions. Thanks for uh, participating.